Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. If you're a patriot and or a follower of Jesus Christ, then you are a danger. You are a threat to the established order, and you must be dealt with. You are a peasant and must not be allowed to organize, communicate, or get together because you pose a great threat to the tyranny. That's what all the purging is about by giant tech, keeping us all separated, unable to speak. But the truth, precisely because it is the truth, can never be completely overcome. For example, in the political arena, consider these truths. Biden was only able to take the oath of office because you were betrayed by Republican leaders. Biden was anointed president by the swamp. He was not elected. No matter how much the ruling class says the opposite, these truths remain truths. The same is true, actually more true, in the theological realm of God's law. Truth is our blessed Lord. He told us that himself. But consider that in the current climate, which is hostile to truth because it has been engineered by the diabolical, believers need to collectivize. We need to come together and recharge, re-energize based on these eternal truths. This is why for nearly 2,000 years, the Catholic Church has encouraged the faithful to occasionally pull out of the madness of the world and make a spiritual retreat to meditate on the glories and the mysteries of the divine. We are in a raging spiritual war, waging combat against the Prince of Darkness himself and his offspring here on earth. We need God, his grace, most especially those that we are afforded through the sacraments, but we also need each other. Community, ironically enough, is exactly what communism seeks to destroy. Since it derives from Satan, communism, it sees humanity and human relationships as that which need to be destroyed. Heaven is about community, communion with the divine and each other through the divine. We even have that now in what we call the communion of saints, the souls on earth in church militant, the church militant, the souls in purgatory, and the souls in heaven. We were made for each other and to be perfected in the glow of divine glory. It is not good for man to be alone. And even if a man is alone in this world, he's never truly alone, only in a certain sense. He's always united to God and his destiny is eternal communion if he only grasps for it. Perhaps at no other time in church militant history has there been a need to come together and be in communion with one another than right now, a time for the peasants to unite. Many of you know that each year church militant hosts a retreat at sea, a week-long cruise jam-packed with spiritual talks, mass prayers, community, everything. Hundreds of folks attend these each year. However, this year, because of the COVID crackdowns, no ships are sailing. So we've transferred this year's retreat at sea to a retreat on land in Texas, close to Dallas in a town called Frisco. And we're taking this moment to highly strongly encourage you to attend. We'll have much, much of the same activities, just not on a ship. And importantly, this year's retreat will take place during Holy Week, a perfect theme for the faithful followers of Christ to gather together and meditate on our Lord's suffering, passion, and death and most importantly, his resurrection. It's easy, we know, in this environment to get down and concentrate on the gloom. That gloom is real, no doubt, and there is much to be concerned about. But we belong to Christ. In life and death, we are the Lord's, and we can never lose sight of this. And notice St. Paul tells us we are the Lord's. God is our Father. This language speaks to the reality of community. Even the word church has its roots in the Jewish understanding of God's people. So enough for me. Please click on the provided link, review the state, the slate of many things we have going on, and sign up. And a note to our non-Catholic brothers and sisters, while the retreat will obviously be centered on Catholic theology and drawing heavily from sacred scripture, you should not feel in any way you aren't welcome. Of course you are. Certainly, all the baptized can gather together in community and pray and meditate on the divine realities. So please feel welcomed because you certainly are. Again, please click on the link, check it out, look at the dates, and let's come together in community as the divine desires and the diabolical despises. God love you. I'm Michael Voris.